Uh, cool. So, following that thought that I interrupted with my autism about how to lay out a train track for the United States, um, Politico made fun of them because during their their conversation, X had technical issues. Elon claimed that this was a DDoS attack. And I will again remind people of my schizo theory. DDoS attacks are a form of network level attack which has existed on the uppercase I internet and other forms of internet infrastructure for 30 years. I wouldn't say DDoS attacks were first observed in the 1990s, I think even in the 80s. We've known about it for a long time, is what I'm trying to say. And in that time, never has there been an RFC proposed by the Internet Engineering Task Force, the IETF, which is a part of the IE3. Never have they ever suggested a way to fix this. And there are some things that could be done to mitigate the impact that DDoS attacks have, because it's very, very expensive for the end receiver of these attacks to mitigate them themselves. You almost always require a DDoS mitigation security service. Um, there's only a handful that exists in the whole world, and then you have Cloudflare to protect individual sites. And to the point where Cloudflare is basically a necessity. G uh, government websites, federal and local, uh, in the United States and abroad, 50% of all websites and something like 30 to 40% of internet traffic every year passes through Cloudflare. And I maintain that they do not, these companies that are, have lots of influence in the IETF, do not propose RFCs to modify TCP or UDP to make network level attacks less easy to orchestrate because DDoS mitigation is a multi-billion dollar a year uh, industry. And if you eliminate this level of network attack, then it makes big providers less competitive. Like the big thing about hosting with AWS or by using Magic Transit with Cloudflare or using a big provider like DigitalOcean or... Um, Linode or Tencent is that you never have to worry about DDoS attacks. Um, you, it's it's bundled for free into your your service plan because they just so happen to have, you know, terabytes or terabits rather terabits of, of traffic at every one of their locations, so they can easily handle a DDoS attack for you. Meanwhile, if you try to start up an ISP, you're fucked. There's no way that you can handle a DDoS attack by yourself. You have to pay out the nose. Um, to route your traffic through an intermediary that will sell you this DDoS mitigation service themselves. They could fix it. They could pass RFCs that mandate that, for instance, Cogent and Hurricane Electric are big uh, ISPs in the United States that don't filter out outbound traffic. So if you forge a packet and say this traffic is coming from an IP, that that router belonging to Cogent or Hurricane Electric knows doesn't exist on their network, they don't filter it because then they would have to invest into computers and, and network uh, filtering to handle something that's basically not their fucking problem. Um, and I think that could be fixed. Um, and they, they choose not to because, and by the way, not only is DDoS attacking creating an industry that doesn't need to exist if they actually fix the originating issue, it also creates a man in the middle attack. And a man in the middle attack is the reason why HTTPS exists. If you go to a Starbucks and you open up your phone and you go to Google and type in something embarrassing, Starbucks can't read that information. Um, if it could and it did, that would be called a man in the middle attack. And back before HTTPS was super commonplace, uh, public Wi-Fi hotspots were always a security threat because then they could read your traffic and they could... Um, get your passwords, for instance, to your bank account and, and stuff like that. So HTTPS was born and Cloudflare is significant to that because Cloudflare, when you use it as a DDoS mitigation service, terminates your SSL. So when you connect to your bank and you pass through your credentials, it's actually being decrypted and inspected by Cloudflare as a part of their security apparatus to make sure it's not forged traffic or junk data. Um, but that, of course, means that they're technically a man-in-the-middle attack. They de they terminate SSL and they inspect your packets. And we just assume that because they're a big company, that there's no issue there. They're just doing what they what they advertise. But if they were compromised, if they were a accessory to the NSA, they could be conducting mass surveillance on basically everybody in the entire world continuously every day, and nobody would know because how the fuck would you? <laughs> You would have to rely on a whistleblower. So, uh, 
DDoS attacks could be fixed, but the IETF and um, the IE3 doesn't want to for financial reasons, and the government doesn't want to fix them either because uh, Cloudflare is actually extremely useful to them, and that's my schizo theory. Hopefully that, uh, that makes sense to people who are laymen. So um, it's also, in relation to this, it's useful because uh, you have X, and even though Elon is a billionaire and X is a massive platform, all you need to take down a big service like X is to saturate their tubes. The internet is not a big truck. It's a series of tubes. And Elon might have a terabit per second of data, which is an, an extraordinary amount of bandwidth. It's like hundreds of thousands of dollars a month in bandwidth. But if there's enough Internet of Things refrigerators that are compromised, and this is a true thing, there was a botnet comprised of fucking refrigerators um, that that some bot bot um, bot master bot, bot lord I forget what they call it, the guys that own the botnets that some guy basically had control of. So he was able to extort companies for tons of money by using a collection of refrigerators to DDoS attack corporate infrastructure. So if you have enough refrigerators angry at you in the world, then guess what? Your one terabyte, terabit of data per second doesn't mean shit because you're going to get your pipes clogged and then legitimate traffic can't access your fucking website. That's just how it works. So it's, it's, um, it's total fucking bullshit is what I'm getting at. They do it intentionally. They know what they're doing. They're not fucking dumb. You mean to tell me? You mean to tell me that the multi-trillion-dollar-a-year industry with three over three billion daily active users can't scrap together an RFC to figure out how to to mitigate malicious originating traffic on networks? You don't think so? You don't think they can? But we flew people to the fucking moon. You don't think we can figure out how to stop DDoS attacks if we really wanted to? You don't think that that the the total and complete alignment of co what should be corporate and government interest in stopping DDoS attacks should be enough motivation to actually get it done? No, because the corporations want DDoS mitigation as a service, and so does the government, because Cloudflare is uh, selling data. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!